you've got bait for the day. This is Scott and Rainey with Bait the Bend. If you're not fishing, you're watching fishing. Thanks a lot for watching. Today is uh, drop shot day, and I've got a new rig, and I'm going to show it to you here in a few minutes um, of how I want to keep all of our lines on the bottom. The, I'm sure it's been done before, but kind of thought of why not put weights on each side of the line and see what happens. So here's uh, here's our drop shots. So right now what we're doing is I've got a bunch of cut up Asian carp that we caught a few weeks ago. I'm just gonna hook up leader lines that we're gonna hook onto the drop shots. Each drop shot has about eight to 10 spaces for these. And we've got four drop shots. So we need about 30 pieces of this cut leader line with these cut bait. We're gonna drop these down and see what happens this morning. So today is a drop shot test I've got uh, a different setup that I usually do instead of just dropping them straight down. I want to anchor them down to the bottom. Two sides so that full line stays on the bottom. So we're going to see what happens with that and uh, go from there. This is Scott with Bait the Bin. Thanks for watching. Uh, click that subscribe button. Hit that bell for uh, notifications. And if you've already subscribed, like it and share. Thanks for watching. Not to mention we have a little bit of rain going on. So that might bode well actually. The one thing I like about this Asian carp, other than it's straight entertainment for the family, is that the Asian carp have a tough skin so that the bait does not come off. So Rainy and I baited up a bunch more of these hooks for our line. And the first thing we're gonna do is we put a noodle on because the concept here is with a weight on the bottom and two hook. I'll have a, a description and a picture of this. So you'll have two hooks, the weight on the bottom, and then a line of six to eight hooked hooks with another weight. That bottom line is all on the bottom of the riverbed. It may have been done before, I'm sure it has, but it is uh, something I was thinking, you know, it's best to have lines on the bottom than a weight and then just going straight up. Why not have it all on the bottom? Rainy, do me a favor, grab that purple jug. So, this time, instead of noodles, old school. Instead of noodles, which we put on the last one, this time we're going old school, and we're actually using the jug. So I made a bunch of these lines. The first thing we do is we put it in, tie a little knot first, just an overhand knot. I'll probably find a better way of doing this down the road, but for now, we're gonna tie a couple of knots so we make sure this thing stays on. And we're also going to clip our line on there that it stays on. Now we have it knotted on. So now what we're going to do, we're going to let out a bunch of line. Now this jug is going to follow its way down the river obviously. And we've got about 10 feet until we hit our first set of beads to where the lines go. I'm going to put two hooks on and then I'm going to put a weight on. So we put our two hooks on first. So we got our first ones going and Rainy's gonna be my holder as we cruise through this little process. We hang that over, we flip, and she lets go until the next one. She's there, we hang over, we flip, and she lets go. And as she lets go, you remember that noodle, that noodle's just gonna keep cruising down. I've anchored off the front of this boat and it's just going to flow down with the river. Now this time, we're gonna put a weight on this thing. Over the edge, flip. All right, we're gonna let it down slowly. She's letting down slowly. All right, we're at the end. So we got our eight hooks on. We got a weight on the front tied to the noodle. And then this last one here, we're gonna put another weight on. Now this weight will keep it on the bottom. 
now I have got a hole. Another clip on the bottom. There we go. Hi. Hi, thank you for watching. We're going to the second. We will come back tomorrow morning and we will see what is in store. And uh, we've got four out and uh, we'll go, kind of go from there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow morning. It is Sunday morning. I just put out a bunch of trot lines, as you saw previously. I'm on my way out. My sidekick decided to sleep in a little bit this morning, which is perfect. Got a big day of uh, boating and tubing and whatnot. We are going to uh, get those trot lines up and see if we've got some fish on them. Nice live oil up front here. I just flipped it on, getting some gas, and usually this is a good spot at the marina to throw out a cast net and some little shad for some live bait. So one toss out this morning. And you've got bait for the day. Gotta get them in the live oil quick though.